my people, this election at the tough election when I don't come across. My people, not be smart, you know. You, you don't involve for this Nigeria Nigeria election. This video, not two video. Uh, ambassador consti send message to Buari. My people, not be smart. My people, please watch this video. After watching this video, share these videos. Mona, give me love and like so that may Facebook for release them. May it for go far. Wahala, this election not be smart. Watch this two video. God bless you all. Bye bye. Noted that there have been abuses of incumbency where those who wish to uh, organize rallies in, in, in governor, in, uh, where governors are not of the same party, that they have been hindered in some way. Uh, we have seen instances in which uh, there have been uh, intimidation and therefore we took note of these issues and these fall well short of international standards that Nigeria has set for itself. Um, and we would encourage uh, these cases to be prosecuted uh, because impunity uh, it discourages people from taking part and this is not uh, up to the standards of inclusivity that we want to see in these elections. Well, there was two peace accords, in fact, and as you rightly note, there was a peace accord last week, and the sentiments of that peace accord are something that we would fully echo in the, in the European Union, and we want to see uh, political participants making very clear statements and not tolerating the type of intimidation that was going on from in, in certain places, and our observations um, were that there was intimidation going on and that it was intended to suppress voter turnout and that's a very serious issue and it falls well, well short of the standards that Nigeria sets itself. Um, so, but there are, there should be very clear pathways to prosecution for those who carried this out. Um, there, there should be very clear provisions within the Electoral Act about electoral offences um, and intimidation of this sort. Uh, so we would uh, take note of that and we will be part of the final report and conclusions and recommendations that we'll make at the strained to speak at this point and I crave the indulgence of the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria His Excellency General Muhammadu Buhari to make this statement because I've had opportunity to keep him aware of what I know is happening and the danger looming ahead. On many occasions in the past, I have not hesitated to point out lacuna in the action of the President and his government. But as far as the election issues that we are now facing are concerned, the President I'll prove beyond reasonable doubt that he will want to leave a legacy of free, fair, transparent, and credible elections. Until last Saturday night, February 25th, 2023, the good and noble plan and preparation for the elections seem to be going well. For the independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, a lot of money was spent to introduce bimodal voter accreditation system, BIVAS, and the server for immediate transmission of results from polling units. It is no secret that INEC officials at operational level have been allegedly compromised which is just waiting to happen. If the chairman can postpone elections four days to the election four years ago, he can do everything to rectify the errors of the last two days. No beavers, no result to be acceptable. I know uploading through server, no result to be acceptable. Where beavers and servers have been manipulated or rendered inactive, such results must be declared void and inadmissible for election declaration. Chairman Einek, I have thought that you will use this 
wonderful opportunity to mend your reputation and character for posterity. Your Excellency President Muhammad Buhari, tension is building up and please let all elections that do not pass the credibility and transparency test be cancelled and be brought back with areas where elections were disrupted for next Saturday, March 4, 2023. And beavers and saver officials be changed. To know which stations or polling units were manipulated, let a committee of INEC staff and representatives of the four major political parties with the chairman of Nigeria Bar Association look into what must be done to have each free elections next Saturday. Mr. President, may your plan and hope for leaving a legacy of free, fair, transparent, and credible election be realized. Mr. President, please don't let anybody say to you that it does not matter or it is the problem of INEC. On no account should you be seen as part of the collusion or compromise. When the die is cast, it will be your problem as the chief executive of this country and that of the nation. All right, then, former President Olu Shegun Obasanjo, uh, who was uh, uh, addressing the press conference there earlier today in Abelkuta. Um, we now then go straight to the International Conference Center, uh, the venue of the National Coalition Center, to continue with the proceeding. Thanks for watching this video. Please don't forget to share this video. Thumbs up to this video. Follow this page if you never follow. Bye-bye for now.